Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. I am so excited for this video. I'm gonna be doing a roundup of my favorite products for ColourPop as of 2021. I am actually partnering with ColourPop to make this video and I'm so excited to be working with them. ColourPop, thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm really excited to just share my absolute favorite products from ColourPop, give you just an arsenal of things that I absolutely love. I did also make sure that all of these are still on the website just to only show things that aren't discontinued as of this moment. A lot of these did come out in 2021, but some are just like my products that have still stayed my favorites through 2021 that are older as well. I have quite a good pile of things in front of me. I will have links and prices all down below for you as well. ColourPop, thank you again so much for sponsoring this video. It just means so much to me. I've loved the brand for such a long time and it means so much to be working with them and I'm really excited to share with you all my favorite products. Before we get into it though, I did of course film this look. This will be on my TikTok exclusively by the time this video goes up. And yeah, I think I've said it all. Let's just hop in and chat about my absolute favorite products as of December 2021. So I wanted to start off with a fourth ray beauty product. This is ColourPop's sister brand. They have skincare and stuff like that. This is a face milk. This one in particular is the strawberry and papaya, but I really love all of the face milks I've ever tried. They all smell so delightful. These are very lightweight moisturizers, and I personally use these for a very specific reason, but I love having them for this reason. So either I did my skincare in the morning, a few hours went by, and then it was time for me to like start filming, doing my makeup, things like that, but I wanted to give my skin another little boost. I'll throw one of these on just to add a little bit of extra moisture, or if I did my filming or makeup but I wanted to take it off like maybe in the afternoon, but it wasn't quite time for my nighttime skincare routine yet, I'll pop one of these on as well just to give a little bit of rejuvenation in between that time. So I love the face milks. I've been using these for quite a while. I also wanted to shout out a Soul Body product. This is a body scrub and body cream duo. These are the Vanilla Dream Scent. I love these. Specifically, I like the scrub the most, but the cream that it comes with is amazing as well. It sinks into my skin really nicely. I love the body scrub because it's very finely milled and it just feels so nourishing. It doesn't feel like I'm scratching my skin to pieces. It just feels like I'm really giving it a nice buff and polish. I really like these as well. So I wanted to quickly shout these out and the vanilla scent is beautiful. Kind of still along the lines of skincare before we get into makeup, the ColourPop lip scrubs and lip masks are one of my favorite things ever. In particular, I've been loving the Rudolph and Clarice lip scrub and lip mask, but the bubblegum one from the Lizzie McGuire collection is also wonderful. This is another product where the scrub itself is just so finely milled. It doesn't feel like I'm destroying my lips by using it. It just feels like I'm giving it such a nice buff polish reset. It feels so good and the scents are so delightful and the lip mask is wonderful. I literally use these every single day. It's my first step in my makeup routine because I like my lips to get a nice kind of nourishment before I put on lip product and makeup and stuff like that. Okay, getting into makeup, my absolute favorite complexion product from them is the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. This is hands down my favorite foundation-y type product from them. I'm wearing it today. It's just such a beautiful sheer coverage skin tint. If you don't like sheer coverage, you probably wouldn't like this, but I do like a sheer to light coverage with my foundation products. This is wonderful. It is so lightweight and it just blends onto the skin like an absolute dream. This is so comfortable. You don't feel it in the slightest. I love this stuff. I'm like, getting so through this. It's like over halfway gone. I love this product. I've also been loving the Pretty Fresh Concealer for quite a long time. It's kind of like a medium to full coverage depending on how much you use. I was using this for a while and then I took a break from it and I actually started using it again very recently. I'm wearing it today for instance and I love this. I forgot how much I loved it. It is just so creamy and it blends so nicely and I feel like in conjunction with the tinted moisturizer, it's beautiful because you can kind of spot conceal and hit up dark circles with the concealer. This is fantastic. I love it. Next, getting into some cheek products. The ColourPop Talk to the Palm Bronzer has been a favorite for so long. Do you see how destroyed this is? I'm wearing it today. I love this bronzer. It's just warm, but it's not too warm and too orangey for my pale skin. It blends so beautifully. It just gives my skin such a beautiful sun-kissed kind of glow without it being too orange because I'm not trying to look orange out here, but it's just absolutely wonderful. I love the way it blends out. I love the way it complements my skin tone. Hands down, one of my favorite bronzers for literally years. Next, I have a few blushes to talk about. Blush is like one of my favorite steps in my makeup routine and ColourPop has quite a few favorites of mine. Their pressed powder blushes in particular are so good. They blend so beautifully on the skin and I think both of these actually came out this year. This one is the Trippin Blush. It came out with the Wild Child Collection. It's just such a beautiful kind of toasty, warm brown with little sheen to it. It gives your face just such a nice glow. 
I love this color. I think a toasty brown based blush is beautiful on everybody. And I also fell in love with the Aloha Honey blush from the Summertime Hello Kitty collection this year. It is just such a cute, bright, poppy coral. This one doesn't have a like shininess to it, but it still just leaves such a beautiful kind of radiance to the skin. I love, love, love the color of this. I think it is so fun. I love a corally blush. When it comes to blush, if it's something neutral or corally, I'm sold. These are my two favorite colors to wear. I also have two blush sticks to talk about. I've loved the blush sticks for years and they recently updated the formula this year and I love it even more now. This one is called Cottage Life. I'm wearing it as my blush right now. This is hands down my favorite cream blush in my whole collection. It's so beautiful. Just that nice warm terracotta. Oh, you're speaking to my soul. I love this color. And then this one is called Winona Forever. It's kind of like more of a burnt, rosy kind of color. This is beautiful. I love this one. I'm like tempted to wear this one every single day because it just, it works so beautifully. I love the tone of it. I feel like it goes with a lot of the makeup that I wear on my eyes. It's just such a winning color. I love it. Next, getting into a couple highlights. I love ColourPop Super Shock Highlight Formula so incredibly much. It's so creamy and bright and poppy on the skin, and it's just amazing. First, I wanted to shout out Candy Floss. This one is so pretty. It's just such a soft, sparkly baby pink. It's so pretty. Do you see how bright that is? Oh my gosh, the sparkles are amazing. It's this beautiful icy baby pink with little pink twinkles in it. This one makes me so happy. That one came out this year, but this one has been a favorite for literally years. This is Flexitarian, the OG. This is amazing. I think this is my second or third one, actually. It is just the most bright, smooth, shiny, creamy ivory color. It doesn't have sparkle in it. It's just bright and reflective and amazing. This has stood the test of time. This might be my oldest highlight in my collection. I've loved this for such a long time, and it's still one of my favorite highlights in my whole collection. Okay, getting into eyes, my favorite part of makeup. I love doing eyeshadow. And my new like favorite eye primer of all time is the Party Proof Eye Primer from ColourPop. I use the shade Translucent. I use this most days. It makes me really happy. It's a very soft kind of pillowy texture. I do not have a better description for you. It's just very soft and it blends so nicely. They make this in a couple tinted shades as well, but I personally just like the Translucent one. This is wonderful. I haven't met an eyeshadow formula yet that doesn't agree with this either. It's just very soft. It doesn't get too like bunchy or weird. It's very thin and very just pillowy. That's literally the best word I have for this. Okay, moving on to eyeshadow palettes. We all know that they release a ton of palettes all the time, and these are some of the standout ones for me from this year and from past years. And again, these are the palettes that I found that are still on their website. I tried not to pick ones that are discontinued, even though I do have some favorites that are discontinued. These are the ones that are still on their website. One of the standout ones for me this year was the Lemoncello palette. I just love this. I'm not super heavy into neutrals, but when it's a really pretty special layout like this one, it makes me really happy. I love these neutrals in conjunction with the pop of blue and yellow and these really pretty duochromes. This is such a lovely palette. This whole collection made me really happy this year in 2021 and yeah, this one I think is gonna be a favorite for a while for me. I was also really impressed with the Lush Life this year. It's just a really pretty kind of tropical, jungly sort of palette. I love these jewel tones in here. That deep blue with the yummy teals and the bright green. There are so many rich, lovely shades in here. And I really like the neutrals that are paired with this, actually. I think they play really nicely together. This was a really cute release as well. The collection as a whole was very cute. And the last 12 pan I wanted to shout out is the Nightmare Before Christmas palette. I just really enjoyed this color story. I've used it quite a few times now and it makes me really happy. I love the kind of colorful but smoky tones. I like how deep and rich it is. I love these pops of color. I love the kind of shifty duochrome shades in here. There are so many really pretty things about this palette. It makes me feel very cute. Again, I just love how smoky it can get in conjunction with the colors. It's all around a very fun color story for me. Getting into some of the nine pan monochromatic palettes, I have three favorites. My favorite from this year in particular is the High Tide palette. This one I'm wearing a lot on my eyes actually. These colors are so pretty. I feel like there's a lot of depth in here and there's a lot of variety for it being a monochromatic palette. I love the different neutrals. I love the shades of shimmer in here that they chose. It's just so pretty. I love, love, love teal eyeshadow. I think it's so beautiful. Oh, this was a really good one. One of my long-term favorites is the That's Tote palette. This is hands down my favorite neutral palette that has ever released. I love cool tone neutrals so much, and this one just speaks to my soul. I've used this one so many times. I love the range of mattes in here. You can do things that are more light or very deep. 
the shimmers that they chose are so pretty and there's even a super shock shadow in here it's just all amazing i love this palette when i want to do a really pretty glam cool tone neutral look this is always the one that i want to use in the last nine pan palette i wanted to talk about is the blow and smoke palette this is another staple in my collection when i really just want to play with kind of smoky grays and blacks this is a really really good palette to reach for the shimmers are very pretty and very bright and shiny and the mattes just offer such a good range from light to dark. I feel like this is such a good staple smoky palette. If you're looking for kind of a grayscale kind of situation, this is a good one to look for. ColourPop also started coming out with little five pan palettes this year. And the standout one for me was the High Society palette over spring. I love this. It's monochromatic, but with a twist because it's not all the exact same kind of tone. I love the deep teal paired with the springy greens and this kind of chartreuse limey shade. This is so pretty. I love playing with this one. It makes me very happy. Five pan palettes aren't always my like favorite thing. I like something slightly bigger than that, but not too big. And this one is just really fun and really special to play with. I love ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. They are so beautiful, especially the sparkly ones are just so glitzy and mesmerizing on the eyes. And these two here are my absolute favorites. This one is Ritz, and this one will basically just transform any eyeshadow look to look very wet and amazing. It's just a really pretty kind of sheer champagne-y tone that just makes everything look wet. If I'm kind of bored with an eyeshadow look, I will always top this over top of it just to give it that extra kind of glitz and gleam and it makes me happy every single time this is also beautiful by itself if you just want like a really pretty kind of neutral wet lid this is wonderful ritz is another one i've raved about for quite a while this is actually my second one because i ran through my first one such a good staple shade for me and my other favorite is ice dream it's actually what i'm wearing on the center of my lid and as my face highlight today it's just such a beautiful iridescent shade it's another one of those that's kind of translucent but it just has the prettiest shift so it has a pretty clear base but then it just shifts kind of bluey purpley depending on how the light hits it magical my favorite kind of super shocks are the ones like this where they're just very transformative and very shifty but very translucent at the same time pure magic and i again love using this one as a face highlight as well Next, I wanna shout out the Glitterly Obsess. This one in particular is Sing To Me Paolo from the Lizzie McGuire collection. The Glitterly Obsessed are really cool because they're glitters that are mixed into this gel adhesive, so they stick onto the skin really nicely without you having to recruit in an extra glitter glue or anything. Forgive me, I don't wanna swatch this one and get glitter all over my hand for the rest of the day, but it just looks like this. It's just iridescent loveliness. It just looks so pretty topped with anything. I love this one. I've loved quite a few of these glitters, but this one in particular stands out a lot to me because I can use it in a lot of different ways because it does have that mostly translucent base with just that little twinkle of iridescence. ColourPop's eye pencils make me so happy. They are one of my favorite eye pencil formulas ever. I specifically do like the retractable ones better, but the wood ones are nice as well. I actually use this one in the shade Raindrops pretty often. It's just a really pretty metallic kind of mauve rose color. So pretty. I use this one a lot when I'm doing anything a little more on the neutral side, but I don't just want to put a brown in my waterline. This one complements things really well. And I love their metallic liners in particular because they really do give just such a wet look to the eye. I love it. Amethyst Hour is also super pretty. It's what I'm wearing in my waterline today because I thought it would complement that ice dream shade on my lid really nicely. It's just such a creamy lavender. It's so pretty. They also sell some of their liners as little bundles. Like there's this one, for instance, it's from the Hang Teal bundle, which includes Zulu and Catsuit. And these are two of my absolute absolute favorites as well. I use these a lot. Remember when I said I really like teal eye makeup? I wasn't kidding. So Zulu is the lighter, brighter one and Catsuit is the deeper teal. These are just so pretty. I find these last in my waterline for a really long time personally and they never tug on my waterline. They go on very creamy. I love these. I have so many of them and I just love them. I use them all the time. Every single time I do my eye makeup, I'm putting a color in my waterline and it's almost always a ColourPop one. Next, I wanted to shout out the cutie stamps. These are really cute face stamps. I have one that's shaped like a heart, a moon, and a star, and I love all of these. They just show up as a little black stamp on the face. I put these near my eye makeup. Sometimes I'll put them just like on my face randomly. These are so cute. They are a little difficult to take off. You kind of have to do a double scrub to get these off, but they're very cute. They last a long time. They never bleed into my skin when I'm wearing them all day or anything. These are so cute. I always get compliments when I wear them. Oh my gosh, we're getting into the lips. We are breezing through this. I am so excited talking about these. Their lip pencils are wonderful. I kind of discovered my love for lip pencils last year and pretty much all of my lip pencils in my collection are ColourPop. They are so creamy and they go on so nicely. This one is the shade BFF. I wear this one a lot because it's just sort of like a my lips but better kind of shade. It's really pretty, just a nice 
basic neutral and I wear this one very frequently. And next I have five different formulas to talk about and I figured I would just show my favorite shade from each formula. Um, the lippy sticks have been a favorite for a long time. They've had this formula forever. This one in particular is one of the matte X ones and it's in the shade Chakra Wave. This neutral, whoo, this lipstick, I could wear this every day. It's so pretty and so creamy and even though it's a matte lipstick, it's not like dry your lips out kind of matte. It's still very creamy and very comfortable. I love the lippy sticks. Specifically, this shade is my favorite. Next, I recently fell in love with this lip cream. It's one of the Fresh Kiss lip creams in the shade Baby Doll. This color is so beautiful. Very, very comfortable. It's kind of like a, just a very glidey kind of formula and it stays very satiny on the lips. This is kind of their updated version of the old Ultra Satin Lips and I loved the Ultra Satin Lips and I'm loving this one too. It's so pretty. I also have this in a pink shade that I really love. I'll be honest, I didn't like the dark shade very much in this line, but this color and the pinky one I have, very, very pretty, very comfortable, very long lasting, very creamy. I love it. The Lux Blur lipsticks are fantastic. I'm wearing one today. I'm wearing this one actually. It's called Regulate. I will swatch it. I love a neutral lip, what can I say? But the Luxe Blurs are very, very lightweight and comfortable. They go on very smooth and very, just not heavy. They don't get cakey on the lips and they just leave such a beautiful finish. I don't know how to explain it other than blur because it's not like a crazy, hard, opaque situation. It's just very soft and very cute. I enjoy this one quite a lot. Next, I have two glosses. These So Juicy Plumping Glosses are one of my favorite gloss formulas ever. And this specific one called Lizzie from the Lizzie McGuire collection makes me so happy. It's one of my favorite glosses in my entire collection. So it's a clear with little glitters in it and it's so cute. This one in particular smells like bubble gum and I just adore it. I wear this one all the time. It doesn't like make your lips crazy painfully plumped, but it does give a little bit of a plumping effect, make them look a little bit more juicy. You know, the So Juicy name fits very well. And this one is just so cute. I love those little glitters. And last gloss and last thing to talk about is the Lux Gloss Formula. I love these as well. They are different than the So Juicy in the sense that they're a little bit thinner and they don't give a plumping effect. This one in particular is in the shade Glacier. This one is also kind of a mostly like clear with little shimmers in it. I just, I love a sheer sparkly gloss. What can I say? Very comfortable, very cute. I've tried quite a few of the Lux lip glosses in my day and I really, really enjoy the formula. So these are my lip picks. These are my ColourPop picks. Very exciting. So yeah, this is just kind of my 2021 update on my favorite things from ColourPop. Again, I'll have everything linked down below with prices and all of that good stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my picks. Thank you again so much ColourPop for partnering with me on this video. I was really excited about this opportunity. I love this video idea and it's been great working with you. I would love to hear what your favorite ColourPop products are. Whether it's something I talked about today or something different, I would love to hear your favorites down below. If you made it to the end of this video, hmm, I don't know. I guess leave your favorite food emoji. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything. I post every day on Instagram and I'm pretty active on TikTok and Twitter as well. And if you want, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I'm posting most days over here. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.